You know what? We're gonna do this. Mm-hmm. Balin gun fishing actually seems sweet. So this is most likely, you know, like control. Oh, I gotta, I gotta reset the, uh, I gotta reset the hair down counter. How incredible! With a the light guides you. Ooh, battle ram works with Kravatoa, or with Phelan. Mysterious Stranger Secret Paladin would be do good today. I think that would still be powerful today, yeah. I don't know if it'd be like great. I think it would still be reasonably powerful at least. Alright. A secret, huh? So what holy secrets are there? Because it's discovered the holy spell. Judgment of Justice? Reckoning. Okay. Got him. So we have Phelan and two Gone Fishing, which is kind of sick. Golden Oracle Loon and Need Dust. I would doubt that that's the Oracle Balloon will be a card that gets nerfed, specifically. Hmm. Alright, let's fail in and go fishing. Go fishing for whatever we got in there! We, we still have the discount. I'm gonna take. We have double beast. I'm gonna take Behemoth. One of the things is that Behemoth. If assuming that I'm like you know looking to, to um, do stuff like Tess and uh, uh, Contraband Sash, it takes up like less room on the board and is still powerful. Also, like I don't know that much way to like gain life. We also still have the option of hitting you know the Glug as well. But I think I think we want this first at least. Mm-hmm. Give me my eight life. Sure. Okay. All right, you know what? With that draw, so I was thinking consecration, but then we get to stash and get back both colossals. And the ram. I could shadow step Phelan. I don't think I want to shadow step Phelan because I have no. I've already used my gone fishing, so there's no way to like access them. I could. You can shadow step a colossal and get the. Uh, if this like hits like a Samuro. It did. It hit the Samuro. Wow. Okay. Well, we can kill the Samuro here. We stash. Which will give us ram in both colossals. So you hit this, which grows this. This guy hits this too. You want to clear that again? Huh? Quality. Arrow. Holy Maki roll. Okay. That's one big glug. They're gonna righteous defense the glug now. Yep, 
Pyro Maki roll is really sweet. Very, very powerful. I don't know where to kill the weapon or anything. Ooh, Sir Finley. Okay. It's interesting because the, the Holy Mockery will go back to your hand actually gives you an extra power with the Finley. Wait a minute. I can... I could get that Finley if I want, which hits me the Zillag. I don't think I want that, though. Aquatic form. Predation. AI. Aquatic form is interesting. It could find me another Stash or Tess. I think I like the Aquatic form the most here, even though I'm not going to play it right now. I'm going to play the Krabatoa. Hit him for 12 through the weapon is hilarious. Okay. Glug, glug, glug. Uh huh. Okay. Alright, there's the righteous defense. Okay, that's not good. I do have this, which is actually really sick against that. Hopefully that it's not a, um, what did they end with? They ended with city tax. I hope that didn't go on like a, a smite. That would be really bad for me. Um, let's aquatic form. I guess just this. Let's trade this. Okay. That's really good. Alright. They could like pyro quality smite me. The quality city tax smite for a million. Okay, that wasn't... We haven't been smited yet. So that's a plus. Okay. Let's play this. Oh no, I screwed up. Oops. I screwed up! I screwed up. I meant to use this, but I don't know if I actually have the man to do what I wanted to do. It's fine. Don't smite me, bro. I really need a test with the other stash. Face me. <laughs> uh huh. Oh boy. Okay, there's the stash. They've already used equality. So this is going to give us a lot. Okay. Boop! Just a 64 power Glug's tail. Unfortunately, Glug doesn't get to steal that because it's only the base stats. He did not skip tail day.
guess I'm just gonna play this. Yeah. More stats for this guy. Actual protected Zilling stocks. That guy can certainly tank a lot, though. Okay, you can have the Maestra. <laughs> well, I don't think I care about me. <gasps> I have too much stuff to play the test right now, anyway. Are they not dead? Because each of these is going to do... I mean, I guess... Yeah, they're, they're just dead. Alright, well... 64-64, uh... Sedan. Not big enough. <laughs> See, I'm disguised as myself. Well met. I am, however, a Decepticon. I am listening. Roguebot in disguise. Job done. I couldn't have gotten this one discounted. So we're doing all the all the trading because it reduces the cost of our wild pod nulls eventually when we when we do draw them, even though we don't actually have them in our hand currently. Can you make Reno Druid work? There's really no reason to play Reno Druid. The whole point of playing Reno is to give you the survivability of the life gain, and Druid has a bunch of like armor gain, you know? That makes the Reno portion not really make much sense. You lose a ton of consistency in terms of your best cards. It's one of the reasons that, that Druid is so good, is it has such a high density of, of you know, both quality cards and, high, and access to the most important cards. Yeah, a, a big a big part of what makes Brino powerful is when decks are looking to like rush you down and finish you off with like charge minions and burn, not decks that build like an overwhelming board presence that you, you know, need to consistently answer. Like in the current metagame, you know, you like Reno and you just die the next turn, you know? Or like, you know, you die two turns later because they just have a ton of gigantic things. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they've not announced any kind of any kind of balance changes now. I would be surprised if there were any balance changes soon because the Masters Tour is next week. Wait, did they just Aquatic Form to the bottom? Like they they didn't draw from the Aquatic Form. I wonder if they hit like they that like literally can only be Raid Boss in Ixia, right? It's the only card they can't cast with eight mana. Or, I guess, Naga Giant, yeah. Let's muddy the waters. We're doing this specifically because if they do a scale of Anixia, they can't actually clear my board from this. We're waiting for them to like play like a taunt before we Kravatoa. We want to just get the max pressure from our, our board right now. Mm-hmm, there's the top. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Save it for this, but I think uh, this is actually kind of awful. I guess we'll take the Vanessa. 
I don't think I can afford to take the 10 here because they have this. Yeah, I can just put them to two here by doing it this way. I was hoping to hit a spell so I could Ashara into, um, into something. Mm. Okay, so if we do manage to, like, find burn off of this, we win. We basically need two damage off of Burglar. They could obviously innervate into another Earth and Scales, but... All right. Also, turn up its rebuys. Boop. Boop. Gotcha. You know what? I think I'll take this wicked stab. Let's go. That was that was a kelp keeper into wild growth nourish game, and we won. Like they. Had Kelf Keeper into Wild Growth Nourish, Miracle Growth, Earthen Scales, Oracle, Ivis, Giants, and we won. That's kind of sick.